Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to be going over a few Australia specific commercials that were related to Digimon in some way. Now I found these trying to find a very specific commercial that I've still not been able to find, which I can't remember if it's for a toy or for a game or it's just like some collaboration they had with some chips or something, I don't know, and they had Tarzos in the bag, I don't know. But all I remember is that there were pets that were dressed up as Digimon and there was like at the end like a dog or a hamster or something going through like a panel of a fence dressed as Patamon and there were kids on a trampoline and that's all I remember and I haven't been able to find that ad but anyway maybe one day I will but I was able to find a few ads that I thought I'd share of course mostly we got ads that were also in America like the ones for the toys or the games they were usually fairly international the ones we had except for a few random Australian ones that have broad Australian accents and they really send you back because they're so terribly Australian and as someone who was born in Australia sometimes they're like that's not what we sound like but no it definitely is but it's always a shock to the ears and all senses to be honest but anyway so first up we have the Meadow Lee sticker promo and Meadow Lee is like a margarine sort of thing and they had a promo with Digimon so let's take a look Digimon sticker with every 500 gram tub of Meadow Lee. Collect all seven and stick them on the Digimon poster. Free in the TV Guide magazine on sale November 17. Plus hundreds of instant prizes. Digimon and Meadow Lee, you ought to be congratulated. Now, I'm not entirely sure why you ought to be congratulated for buying margarine, but I can understand the Digimon connection. Yes, you ought to be congratulated for buying Digimon stickers, I guess. But this was like this huge uh, tagline for this, uh, for this brand. It was like, you ought to be congratulated and always was screaming that. And I don't know why I keep on saying that in an Australian accent when I have an Australian accent. So that's something. But in any way, that, that's, that's the first ad that I have that I found and I was like, well, it's not what I'm looking for and honestly, I thought that it might be because I have a feeling it was a collaboration that was Australian and that's why it was used. But anyway, so next up we have another collaboration which isn't as aggressive as the Meadowly one, but it is with Tip Top, which is a brand of bread. They won't forget their lunch again with a limited edition Digimon sticker free in every Sunblessed pack. And send in a Sunblessed barcode and you could win Digimon skateboards, scooters, toys and loads more. Now I really want that Digimon skateboard and I'm kind of mad that we didn't get this tip top bread to get me the skateboard. But anyway, I thought it was still pretty cool. Again, not as aggressive as the Meadow Lee one, but still definitely something. And next up we have a very dot com era commercial for the foxkids.com.au website which tries to like be fresh with the kids and by sending an email and it's just, it's just a little bit something. Self-connected! Yeah! On the weekend, I was on foxkids.com.au and found the coolest club ever to be created on the internet. Hi again, I'm a digiholic. You know, like a chocoholic. But the only thing that changes is that I can't get enough of Digimon. I love the adventures they all go through. Love, Flora. Dial in, click twice, log on. Foxkids.com.au Now that's some wicked sick tech. So that one basically describes every uh, ad for a website back in the early ooze when it wasn't everyone's instinct to just go online for something. They kind of had to have long commercials like this to explain why you should go to the website. Now it's everyone's kind of instinct. You don't really, I mean, I don't really watch free to wear anymore, but I would assume that you don't really see ads promoting particular websites for something that you would already know. Maybe you get like an ad for like an insurance company and they direct you to the website, but not for a specific website. That feels like it's something that's so wonderfully early ooze, but I found it was just a nice little gem that really sends you back 
to the start of the 2000s, basically. So that's exciting. And then next we have a Fox 8 commercial for Digimon, and it, it's just, it's really something, and it's definitely a product of its time. Sucks from Earth! That thing makes my head spinny. To fulfill our digi destiny! <laughs> We're lucky kids. Are you crazy? Yes, indeed. You're hanging with the big boys now. Need a friend to watch your back? These crazy creatures have a power pack. You can count on them. Digimon attack! Digimon, Digimon monsters, Digimon Darlet champions. They're unstoppable. Let the monsters beware. Digimon, weekend mornings at 7.15. So I don't know why it sounds like at the start he's starting to rap, but he just gives up. He's like, yeah, yeah, Digimon, and then he just gives up. And I just, I kind of love how they kind of, they edited the movements across. That was kind of cool. Like, I, I respect that, but I don't know why he looks like he, he remembered the script for the first half and then he forgot the script and then was just like, well, I'll just, D Digimon, they've got a power attack. Yeah, Digimon. And and that it just feels like he just got lost halfway through and gave up. But anyway, it's very much a product of its time. And that was basically it for the Digimon ones, but don't leave because I did find one f that was labeled as a Tamagotchi ad, but it's not a Tamagotchi. It's uh it's a one of those like not quite knockoff because it's its own thing, but very much trying to jump on the Tamagotchi bandwagon and it's from a a, a like a, a it's kind of like a $2 shoppy kind of thing that is specifically in New South Wales. So check this out and uh, I, I hope you in find it as enjoyable as I did. Oh, this craze. And there will be seven ninety five for Clint's crazy bargains. These pets must be fed, put to bed, exercised, given medicine, cleaned and taught. The personality of your pet is determined by how you look after it. If you neglect your pet, it will die. You can check your pet's age, weight, hunger level, sleep and mood. You can take your pet with you everywhere. It's small enough to fit in your pocket or on your key ring. Get your electronic pet only seven ninety five at Clint's crazy bargains. It's crazy! So I don't know why I remember ads for this place. I must have, like, they must have been playing a lot of New South Wales, and I must have just watched a few when I've been on holidays there. But him just saying, it's crazy, just, like, gives me so much nostalgia. So I must have seen these ads quite a bit as a kid. But I just love how, how like, into it the, the, the announcer is. Like, especially when he says about death, he's like, treat them nice or they will die. <laughs> and it's just, he's so into it. And so I've, I, hope this, I hope this guy is, is doing well for himself now because he just gives this job his all. And I'm so about that. But, uh, yeah, so that was all, unfortunately, all the ads that I could find. And it will die. I don't know, maybe I'll just start, like, trying to do that guy's voice in every video. I think that would be, uh, maybe I'd get more views if I was, like, watch my videos or die. I don't know. I, don't worry. You're safe for now until I get this voiceover guy to do my videos and then... And then maybe my viewership will go up. But anyway, so those were the ads that I could find. Still no luck hunting down that one specific video. But maybe one day I will find that commercial... It was very cute in my memories, and I really hope that I didn't just make it up or combine multiple ads, and I really hope it's not lost to time. Anyway, those are the commercials that I thought I found that I'd share. If I ever find any more, maybe I'll do another video, uh, but I, I don't think there are any more. I think this is it, which is really sad. But in any case, let me know in the comments which of your favourites videos, nostalgia, advertisements that you can remember, and which of these videos that I've shown you today were your favourites, um, including and also excluding the Tamagotchi one because that one's definitely my favourite. Uh, not including that, the Metal Lee one's probably my favourite just because of how, like, I don't know, it's just, maybe it's the nostalgia. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like this video if you enjoyed the Crazy Clint voice, and even if you didn't, like it anyway. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!